I am Anil Kumar and here is an interesting question on rate of change. The question is, consider the function f of x equals to 1 over x, where x is not equal to 0. Prove that the area of the triangle formed by the tangent to the curve and the coordinate axis is 2. So basically, we can actually draw the curve. Let us try to understand the question first. The curve 1 over x could be something like this. Now if I draw a tangent at any point on this curve, let us say that is the tangent at a point here. In that case, what we need to prove is that the area of this particular curve formed by the line, the tangent line and the coordinate axis is 2. So that area is 2. This is what we have to prove. Right? So the strategy here is we can take any general point. So a general point on the function f of x equals to 1 over x could be a. If I take x as a, the y value will be 1 over a. Correct? So that becomes a general point. So we'll find equation of this tangent at a general point. And from there, we'll find x and y intercepts. Once we find x and y intercepts, we can find area as half of product of x and y, right? So that is the strategy for us. So let's begin by finding slope at a point on the curve. So let a and 1 over a be any point on the curve. Right? And let's find the so slope of the tangent at this point. So slope of the tangent at this point will be equals to limit h approaches 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. Right? Now in this particular case, it will be limit h approaches 0 f of a plus h will be, we'll replace 1 over x, x by a plus h. So we get 1 over a plus h minus f of a will be 1 over a divided by h. Now we can cross multiply and take common denominator. So we get limit h approaches 0. So here we have a minus a plus h, we just cross multiply with common denominator as a times a plus h and all this times 1 over h. So let's simplify this. Once you simplify, you get limit h approaches 0. a minus a is 0, so you get minus h divided by a times a plus h times 1 over h. Now at this stage, you can cancel h and h, so you get minus 1. So what you get here is, is the slope. So slope m at any general point is equals to uh, limit h approaches 0 of minus 1 over a times a plus h. Now we can substitute h, right, in this as 0. So once you do that, you get minus 1 over a squared. So at any point A on the curve, slope of the tangent is minus 1 over A square. Correct? Now we can find the equation of tangent. So equation of tangent will be what? We can use the form y equals to mx plus b. And uh, we know now that the slope is minus 1 over A. So we can write this as y equals to minus 1 over A square times x, right, plus b. To find the y-intercept, we can use our point, which is a 1 over a. So 1 over a is the y-value, minus 1 over a square, x is a for us, plus b. So that is 1 over a, and here we get again 1 over a, bringing it to the left becomes 1 over a plus, and so b is equals to 2 over a. So that is b for us. Since we know B, we know the equation. So now we can write down our equation as we know B now. So we can write Y equals to 
minus 1 over a square x and b is plus 2 over a. So we know y intercept is 2 over a. So this point here is 2 over a. That is a y intercept. Let us find the x intercept. To find the x intercept, so now from here we know y intercept is 2 over a, right? That is that is the y intercept, 2 over a. To find x intercept, we'll equate y equals to 0 and then solve for x, correct? So let us equate y equals to 0 equals to minus 1 over a square x plus 2 over a. So that gives us, let me so, take it to this side. So we get 1 over a square x is equals to 2 over a, right? So what we have done here is we've taken it from here to here. So we'll now cross multiply. So x is equals to 2 over a times a square. So that gives us the value of a 2a as x. So the x intercept for us is 2a. Okay. Now we know x intercept is 2a. So that means for this right triangle, the base is 2a, right? Base is 2a and height is 2 over a. And height is 2 over a. So now we get base as equals to 2a, right? And height as 2 over a. So what is the area of triangle? So area of triangle is equals to half base of 2a, right? Times 2a times height of 2 over a. 2 over a, correct? That gives us the value. So this 2 and 2 cancels. a and a cancels. Do you see that? So we get area as equals to 2. So area is 2 unit square for the given triangle formed by any tangent because A is a general point. So solving this, we get area as equals to 2, right? So have a good look at it and see how we kind of did this question. So the idea is find equation of the tangent at any point on the curve and then find x and y intercepts. Product of x and y intercepts divided by 2 gives you the area of the triangle formed by the tangent and the coordinate axis. And that will always come out to 2. So that is how it should be done. Thank you and all the best.